70% of uh, diabetic patients go undiagnosed, unscreened for their diabetic retinopathy. Uh, that's a real problem. We have almost 300 million people that are diabetics in the world, some who we don't even know are diabetics, especially in the third world countries. My passion is to somehow use the technologies that a lot of very, very bright people have spent all their lives creating, retinal lasers, pharmacological therapy, therapies for diabetes and macular degeneration, but try to get those solutions to the 70 or 80 percent of patients that are not being diagnosed. So the goal is to connect the patients that have disease with these great treatments we're coming up with. The problem we're having is that we have the solutions, but we haven't gotten to the patients to be able to implement the solutions. A number of our patients are almost blind or are blind by the time they get to us. The problem at that stage of the game is we can't go back and repair the retina. Once the retina's been detached, especially if it's been detached for a while, uh, it's a point of no return. What we've come up with is a technology solution, and the technology solution is an automated camera system that can be run by anybody. Any layperson can be trained to, to utilize it. The technology is unique in that uh, up to now people were just taking photographs of the retina with special retinal cameras and analyzing those uh, either remotely or at the point of service where the patient was being seen. What's revolutionary about this technology is that A, we can ship it over the web into the cloud. With that enhanced image, we're doing some algorithms and actually being able to determine for the primary care doctor so we can generate a report uh, whether the patient has mild disease, whether the patient has hemorrhages or severe disease, and sending that report right back for the patient and the primary care doctor to be able to see. It's actually a game changer. This new revolutionary technology allows us to try to screen those 70, 80 percent of patients that aren't being taken care of and actually match them up with the treatments that we have to hopefully prevent blindness going forward. Big goal, but I've got many years to live still. <laughs>